Hello, my name is Tim Bernard, and this is Beyond the Headlines, where we take a much different look at what is unfolding around us. And this is our two, 2015 wrap-up with a look at what's going on and what we should expect to see in the coming year. We'll also look at uh, some prophecies fulfilled, being fulfilled, and how they will play out in uh, this coming year, which promises to be a very rough ride, and that's being kind. Uh, I spent the last few days going over my website, uh, looking at uh, what I've reported on in the last year. I'd urge you to go there. There's hundreds of hours of free documentaries, plus all the links are still live going back for over a year. So even if you just look at the story headlines, you'll get uh, a, a good picture of what is going on as uh, time marches on, as they say. And of course, uh, the propaganda ministers, they own both the left and the right. Uh, and we'll get more into that as time goes on. They're resurrecting one of uh, their dead horses that died during the year, uh, Brian Williams for lying of course you see you have to lie to be a part of the media but you can't get off script you can't embellish your part in the story you have to be satisfied with your multi-million dollar contract and uh, your positions that they give you and of course for me this there's no benefit here upon the earth my benefit is in heaven this is costing me uh, from large amounts of time, uh, some money, uh, and but I couldn't live with myself if I didn't try to warn the people around me, because uh, then I can sleep at night knowing that I at least tried, and when I stand before the man with the holes in his hands, I can say I'm sorry that I was so weak and pathetic. But I did try. I did speak out. I wasn't silent, as the prophecy states. And they're doing everything to uh, get Hillary elected. That's who they really want on both sides. Um, and God help us if she gets in. This is as a State Department. She's getting her jollies with some uh, big mama over there in Africa. And look at everyone's laughing and just having fun. And they're going to have fun at our expense. And uh, fun, yes. Let's listen to Hillary's fun camp in her own words. We're only going to look at two short little sections. And here's one, Hillary's fun camp. As I have gotten older, I have decided we really need camps for adults. And we need the kind of camps that you all run. I mean, really, where, you know, none of the serious stuff, none of the, you know, life challenge stuff, more fun. I think we have a huge fun deficit in America. And we need to figure out how to fill that fun deficit, certainly for our kids, but also for the rest of us. And if you think, that camp is going to be fun. Look up Larry Grathwall. He was a Marine who infiltrated the uh, weathermen back in the 60s, early 70s. And he'll tell you what their plan is. I've seen it unfold. Uh, it's not a pretty plan. If you think it's for fun, you've already stayed here too long. <laughs> but we are the resistance, the V for the peace sign from the Vietnam War. Also from the Second World War, the Vichy government, and uh, there's a history even much deeper than that on it if you want to look it up. And of course, they just keep moving to implement their plan. Uh, and they always go, well, who are they? At the top of the food chain is the money changers. That's who's running the show. Well, at the very top is the devil. That's who no one wants to talk about. Not even the holy men. They might mention him in passing but they do not want to take them on frontally very few do very few homilies and talks 
given by apologists or uh, pastors and preachers and deacons ever mention the devil other than like I say in passing but you can see that the world has basically been divided into ten just like the Bible says and then a sub-district of that see we are coming to you from global region one FEMA district 10 look it up those are FEMA districts just type in FEMA districts and you'll get that map I mean it's hidden in plain view because that's how it has to be done and last year yep they did the cremation of care again and of course no one reported on it in the mainstream media you think it might be important that they're doing a mock sacrifice of a child in front of a 45 foot stone owl right there um, and and it's not wackos going there every republican president in the 20th century has been there some democrats but a lot of leaders from all parts of our uh, country go there and this is the lake that's in front they bring the child in an effigy uh, there they are in their goofy robes and there's the priests up there the satanic priests and uh, only high rollers go to this place and another thing that might be somewhat important is the um, Georgia Guidestones here where they openly this is the new ten commandments written in eight different languages i've personally been there um, it's not hidden it's just sitting up on top of a hill all by itself the first one is to maintain a population on the earth of under 500 million that's over 90 percent of the people got to go so you ask, you have to ask yourself who gets to choose who gets to stay who gets to go if you're really awake at all and looking into what's going on, this is all these people talk about. I mean, and I've done so many articles, and there'll be so many more. That's, a, that's just a prediction that will happen because it's just unfolding. And as uh, Cardinal Ratzinger or Pope Benedict XVI said, it's our duty, but especially as Christians, to get out and protest this and the only way you can protest something is to be educated otherwise they will lead you along lead you around and you'll be chasing your tail like a dog because these these folks hire the they take the cream of the crop and they find people that are willing to sell out and there's plenty of people who will sell out and they are the ones who are designing, doing the social engineering, the wars that we see. It's all contrived. As William Casey said, he was the head of the CIA under Ronald Reagan, uh, OSS in World War II. When everything you believe is false, you'll know we've taken over. And they've taken over. And we'll keep... Uh, Seeing if anyone wants to talk about the uh, Eucharist and have a debate about it, for those of you who do not believe in it, uh, and many people within the Catholic Church do not believe in uh, the real presence, and this is the fulfillment of the prophecy uh, in Daniel, in 12, the daily sacrifice will be stopped, uh, this hasn't happened yet, because it will be stopped and go underground for three and a half years. Um, that's not going to happen next year either. There's a lot more that has to happen first. But I'm just going to keep throwing that out that somebody wants to get a hold of me. There's plenty of ways to get a hold of me. Um, and we'll, we'll do a little debate on it. Uh, this was the end of the year. Uh, this cool Catholic priest is riding a hoverboard during Mass. Um, you know, it's, it's just... <laughs> I, I don't know. You know I mean, I've, I've... Like I say, within the church, there's a lot of rot. Um, and, and it's going to get worse. Uh, more than likely, the, the Catholic Church will split. Uh, we'll see a schism here. I mean, you can already sort of see it developing. 
among uh, the, the total whack jobs who want to, because um, they're going to take us down in increments. And what's coming is the Protestantization of the Catholic Church, where it'll just be a big kumbaya mushy thing. They'll, they won't talk about the devil, and of course the Eucharist will be banned. Uh, we'll see that continue to unfold. I've been telling you this for years, and you can really see it beginning to manifest itself now. And we'll get more into that soon. Um, because at the, the world meeting of families, this is what the devil wants to destroy. He wants to take down the family. And he's doing everything. Uh, there have been prophecies about this for hundreds of years. I mean, literally thousands. But as, as these ancient prophecies get closer to their fulfillment, God makes it more and more revealing and explains more and more just how it will happen from the Masonic sects uh, that... Are, are really behind this. Uh, we've done stuff from St. Maximilian Kobe uh, doing talks about it, how a bunch of them, a bunch of uh, Freemasons paraded around St. Peter's Square with signs saying, we'll take it over. Uh, I've also mentioned Alta Vendetta, which is another one of their internal documents. I believe it was Pope Pius IX said that we should uh, be reading this and make it available, especially to the clergy. But of course, they don't even want to deal with the devil, let alone what his henchmen are doing. And of course, there's AA1025, uh, Anti-Apostle 1025. Uh, that's a great story if you want to look up some more information on their plan in their own words uh, of what they're going to do. They didn't get as much as they wanted, uh, but boy, they did a bunch of apostate stuff uh, when uh, Pope Francis was over here from uh, you know just pushing the homosexual agenda, which is right out of the Bible that that's what we would see in these times that we are living in. While these aren't the end times, they are not the end of the world. We're actually uh, just about to enter into a long period of peace that the world has never known. We know that from scripture. We have never not taught our children war. Never. That's coming. But between here and there is a lot, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of work. And woe unto you who do not help because by not helping, by not speaking out, you are doing the work of the devil. You are helping the other side. It's like I told a pastor, and not one of my current pastors, I would rather be alone with the truth than to be loved and adored by the masses in a lie. And right after the um, you know, World Conference in Philadelphia on the family, then it moved to Rome, where the African bishops, once again, were some of the stalwarts uh, trying to protect the Orthodox uh, magisterium, the teachings of the church, which have come down uh, from Christ through the apostles uh, down to us today. Uh, and they are going after it, and that's also uh, what was spoken of in the Bible. They will seek to change God's laws. And of course, uh, the Seventh-day Adventists look at that as the changing of the day of worship for Christians from the Sabbath, which is Saturday to Sunday. But that's not eliminating the worship, and that was done by the Apostles. That's also in the Bible in more than one location. But, um, irregardless of that, we should, as Christians, at least be able to agree on the Ten Commandments and also uh, the, the, the Jews and even the Muslims supposedly you know, believe in the Ten Commandments. 
now the more radicalized ones uh, you can study Islam uh, and it's you know fortunately most Muslims are like most Christians they're lukewarm but they're gonna do what their their leaders want and uh, this is part of doing what the money changers want Jesus kicked the money changers out of the church and now we're bringing them in I've talked talked personally face to face with top cardinals about this um, both from the Curia and uh, like Donald Whirl he's the uh, cardinal from uh, Washington DC this is the Vatican in league with the World Bank promoting the global warming scam uh, which we go over all the time the documents on it I have posted permanently on my website from the Club of Rome that book uh, that we looked at uh, in the beginning lays out just what they uh, what their plan is I mean they openly say it to use this climate issue oh and that was 40 years ago they started with uh, global cooling then they went to global warming and now that there's been a pause for the last 15 years They've decided to just call it climate change. So anything that happens, it, it's because, and I'm 100% behind alternative energy. But they're about taking us down. They've been suppressing it for centuries. Uh, and, and here's this, the, the great struggle uh, on the Vatican here. And yet, they, they don't take on the money changers. They're in bed with the money changers. The World Bank is the problem. Uh, the UN is the problem. But that's also one of the prophecies, is that Rome will lose the faith. Of course, the Protestants have been saying that for 500 years. Uh, then we have uh, some... Uh, Catholics who have been saying that for about 50 years uh, and I mean I mean this is dealing with people is messy but uh, we should at least like I say let's try the Ten Commandments let's start there um, and, and here we have a, a bunch of Buddhists and and Buddhism is a man-made religion Siddhartha, who is Buddha, he was looking for Jesus. But it was before uh, Christ walked the earth. But he, Siddhartha knew that the world was not the end all. There was something else out there. He was looking for it. And then men, as, as they have in, in all things, get in and, you know, for power. But this is the goofiness. Of, of what's going on and it's it's only going to get much much worse as the apostasy spreads and we should be expecting uh, a lot of damage in the world because a lot more happened in 1999 than uh, people talk about this was just one event that happened in 1999 if you know the book of Revelation at all you know that we are marked first. And this is Father Zudak who received this mark. And the Vatican checked him out and said it is supernatural. And a few years later, now he has the full stigmata. But you can read in the sixth chapter, and it goes on into the seventh, before the trumpets blow, before the four angels have been sent to the four corners of the earth, God goes... Hold it. We need to mark our people. You and I are not going to get a physical mark. But the reason we're marked in the forehead is we have to believe in Jesus. So if you don't have a relationship with our Lord, I recommend that uh, you start working on it. Because uh, the hour is late. And the key to understanding and to begin to open the book of Revelation is Alpha and Omega, first and last. Just like Jesus says. And in the middle is their time. And our time has already begun. And we're going to finish the story. But for a little while, they will pretty much rule. 
and uh, Pope Benedict's warning about Islam is right. And he was roundly, because this is a part of the devil's plan to get this clash of civilizations going. They hide so much stuff about what's going on. They're destroying Europe right now. And they're moving in here even, and we'll have some stories shortly about that. And as I've been mentioning about how no one talks about the devil, this is uh, a picture shot at the concert in Paris just before the gunman let loose. And the song that was playing when the gunman opened fire was Kiss the Devil. These things don't happen by accident. When you play with the devil, you open the door, he comes in. And then his number two thing is that, oh, I'm, I'm not trying to influence you for, for whatever reason. I mean, most people just don't, well, we don't believe in God or the devil. and It's just, you know, we're busy. We got stuff to do. But um, he is influencing everyone. And for those of you who might think you're too holy, maybe you should read about the saints. They all had wars with the devil or demons, plural. God gives you the grace to handle. You shouldn't be, I'm not afraid of them when they attack me. Because, I mean, even if God gave them complete control and allowed them to kill me, oh well. Then I move on to the next phase, the better phase. That's what's important. Make sure your name is on the guest list so that when you are standing before our Lord and you're not going to get to talk, make sure that, yep, I know who he is or I know who she is. We have a place for you. It's been prepared since before you were born. But it is your free will. This is uh, Dearborn, Michigan, voted 4-3 to three to become the first U.S. city to officially implement all aspects of Sharia law. They're not telling you about this, Obama and Hillary and the Republicans who are behind the scenes just allowing this to happen, to come in. They'll be made, and it goes into effect, it went into effect two days ago. And, um, you know, you, you better... Take a look at what they do and what's not reported openly. Their treatment of women. I mean, the whole Hillary thing and women. I mean, it's just... And then, of course, Bill. What about Bill and his women? Here's some Muslims warn... Uh, this is back in September. Warn a New Jersey school board, we're going to be the majority soon. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to have their enclaves. They're not going to. They're not going to take on our decadent society. And God is allowing this also to happen because we're, we've become so decadent. We've thrown them out of everything. Take a look at what happened to Israel. Sharia will dominate the world. This is going to get so messy, so messy. And, and here we are, a small village of 40, this is in Germany, is to receive 550. They complained so much, they went, okay, we'll knock it down to 400. Well, there, they've just taken over a small village. And then more and more will come. And we're going to pay for it. And you see, why is this migration even happening? Because the money changers behind the scenes started the wars. This is the plan. Order out of chaos. Problem, solution, reaction. They cause the problem. They offer the solution to get the desired reaction that they wanted the money changers in the beginning. And if you think they love me or you, you're, you're mistaken. I'm sorry. And look at um, the CDC, U.S. Sexuality 
sexually transmitted disease epidemic is worsening and they're teaching this in school ok a homework assignment as eighth graders to write about herpes and one night stands they know what they're doing this is social engineering the little cogs in the wheel might not understand it. and they oh well this is progressive well and actually and i played the clips before where they say we need to think differently about the family structure and that kids are your kids that kids belong to their parents no they say they say not me that kids belong to the community to the collective this is what's going on look it up just type in kids don't belong to their parents msnbc and the law school dismisses the threat against his pro-life student and scolds her instead. The war on Christianity is real. And to those who are not speaking out against this, but are coddling the other side, good is called evil. Evil is called good. These are the times we live in. This is not what you hear from our preachers. And of course most of those churches are dying. There's the old people who are still there. But they're dying on the vine. And they're going to continue to die. Here's a seminary. You know we've spent over two billion dollars. Covering up this sex scandal. But, but they're just going right back into it. Because they laid in wait, as I told one of the top cardinals. You know, this, this hasn't been uh, cleaned up. What's gone on is they're controlling it in the seminaries. There's a good book on that called Goodbye, Good Men. It's about one of the seminaries out here. I mean, there's a, and some of the priests out here, they don't look too kindly upon me. Because I'm, I'm not going to promote their heresies, their apostasy. And here we are flaunting it at the White House with the big, and you know what, you think you're going to change God's laws about marriage? About sodomy? You're dreaming. And then you're going to try to throw it in the face. Remember, the rainbow was assigned to God. And so he's not going to destroy the whole world. But the angel of death from the Passover is here once again. The marking. Remember the marking of the forehead. You can find this also in the Old Testament. I believe in Ezekiel. The marking. He talks about the marking of the foreheads before the angel of death goes out. Starts there, and it'll go around the whole world, the three days of darkness. That's going to be a ways out, though. And, of course, they're not stopping with just gay marriage and the sodomy. No, now they're moving on into the tranny stuff. And we've done articles about pedophilia, trying to legalize pedophilia as well, we were born that way. It's never going to be okay. Never. And you should check out the Muslims. And what they do, not only with women, but with pedophilia. And it's going unreported. Uh, you can find out about it in Afghanistan. Just uh, do, a, do a little searching. You'll find it. I've done stories on it before. And here's our, the leader of those who wish to go to hell. Because that's where he's headed. He's not a Christian. I mean, give me a break. He'll say anything to make people happy. He's a Pied Piper. He's a little Antichrist. There's people worse than him coming. Don't worry. He's, he's only, but he is an Antichrist. And, and he's done a lot to destroy our country. Which is exactly what his mission was. I mean, so he's accomplished it. He's done, he's done his job for his masters. 
and you know there's there's a lot of people that like to say oh you know it's just those democrats well the boy scouts just this year now uh decided that okay it's it's okay to have uh gay leaders of little boys well what do you think they're going to i mean since when anyway did sexuality become a part of what the Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts were to do. This is the over-sexualization of everything. Part of a plan. Social engineering. Oh, and the guy who brought this about in the Boy Scouts, he was the guy who uh, brought about the, uh, the advancement of the homosexual agenda within the military. Mr. Gates... And he was uh, promoted by, uh, well, the guy, who, he was a holdover from the Bush era. And our, this is our military. I mean, there's still a lot of good people. They've been purging the military dramatically. And there's a lot of good people in the military. But uh, there's going to be change. And... The, tele, the TV is just going down, and it's only going to be getting worse. I mean, I would not let your children, and I've never heard that spoken from the pulpit, that you should watch, uh, at the very least, you have to monitor what your children watch on TV. And I really wouldn't let them watch much of anything because the ads are even bad. Uh, it's it's so disgusting what goes on, and to sit and watch it like directly, uh, you want to be looking away because there's a flicker rate that uh, puts you into uh, like a trance state, and it's easier for them to uh, put messages in. And I'm attacking them on their own media. I mean, this goes out not only on uh, YouTube and on the internet, but also on um, television on public access why we still have it we have to use these platforms to try to spread the message because there's uh, people there's a lot of people that uh, are still surfing the the television and uh, so and that's one thing you can do is to tell people about this show and here's a global warming thing there's a picture from what 20 years ago may 15th or may 5th and may 5th of 2015 uh, it looks like it's growing oh but that's climate change sorry I, I forgot oh and we've only got I was looking at an article today 24 days because 10 years ago Al Gore said we had uh, 10, 10 years and it was all over oh and by the way you should check into Al Gore's uh, family wealth Occidental Petroleum down in Columbia and they do a bang up job down there because he loves the little people. He cares about you while he's flying around in his jets. Another inconvenient truth uh, was a NASA study that came out last year. Antarctica is gaining ice. Uh, that was the North Pole that we were looking at. So both poles are growing. Ah, don't worry about it. Just give us more money. Let us take your freedoms. There's a picture of Antarctica. The, the rim of fire is lighting up. We did stories about that this year. I'd expect more. And there's such trouble coming. And remember, I've mentioned it several times about that volcano in Iceland that could go off any day, the large one. Because we have a historical record going back thousands of years that these volcanoes go off about every 150 years. First the little one goes, then the big one goes. And the little one went off 10 years ago in 2010 and disrupted. And a lot of people starved in the 1800s when they went off the last time. And this can be much worse now because there's much bigger population. Eisenhower warned us about this. The, um, uh, not only the military industrial complex, how it would get into every facet of our life, but also the um, scientific technological elite and that would be by the allocation of money that's how they control it because if you don't do the studies we want that come up to the conclusions we want 
we don't give you any money you don't have a job you just spent fifty sixty thousand and seven eight six to eight years of your life and you're going to have to go get a, a real job those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it and uh, Benghazi was a big story this year uh, the movie just came out 13 hours but uh, about uh, what really happened there criminal criminal actions I mean Hillary should be going to jail just for her actions on Benghazi let alone the behind the scenes stuff that uh, went on there the gun running and because when they were done uh, with Libya which was a terrible war I mean look how that's turned out then they took the armaments and moved on to Syria for the next war and we told you all about this for those of you who've been listening for a while here before the Arab Spring even broke out we told you what the plan was oh and you can also see uh, General Wesley Clark a talk about it. he wrote about it in his book just type in Wesley Clark uh, countries to be taken over and you'll see that that came about before any of this stuff happened that's because those countries weren't a part of this global banking system the last the few that aren't a part of it they're trying to get a war going with Russia that's what they want we've been prodding them doing everything shot down a plane this year I mean I mean Russia's is going hey we're not gonna roll over and play dead for you guys you know we got rid of Yeltsin and that's one of the reasons they hate Trump so much is because and I don't like everything about him but at least he cares about our country somewhat and he just isn't gonna let these people roll over him like Obama Clinton and, and the Republicans I mean look at how the Republicans even though they've come back into power in the the House and the Senate they just keep just keep giving Obama everything he wants because it's not what Obama wants it's what the money changers want that's how the game is played and I told you that Russia had drawn a line in the sand over Syria and wasn't just gonna roll over and play dead like uh, so many other people have because see it's really not Russia's really not fighting us they're fighting the people who took us over the banksters who sit in the dark in the back and are the manipulators that's who they took over and here's Obama having a big laugh uh, and then I said Obamacare would lower insurance costs remember twenty five hundred dollars per family and uh, Gruber gate that happened sort of like at the end of uh, 14 and spilled over into 2015 um, and he worried just called the electorate dummies I mean even you you people who are Democrats if there's any watching here they openly call you lummoxes for following them openly and the Republicans are just the same I've shown that Republican Christmas card from a few years ago where it's the sheep pulling the sleigh and stuff um, you can look that up look up Fox News Christmas card sheep anyway but uh, yeah this was just some of the stuff that started it out now this is a great story I mean they're, they're using everything to get uh, race wars going he's doing a good job and the Baltimore mayor should be going to jail got her on tape going yeah let the city burn and they did uh, but this was a woman who saw her son out there and went out and grabbed him and slapped him up alongside the head and said buddy you are not doing this get off the streets because how insane is it to destroy your own town and of course a lot of the people who are doing the destroying are come in from outside and are even shipped in from our buddy uh, like George Soros that uh, another you know we're so worried about the environment and and I am I I gave up a lot I used to spend lots of time backpacking and hiking a lot of time this is the genetically modified salmon fortunately they're releasing it right now in the Atlantic 
but oh and of course we don't want to label it we don't want you to know just shut up we're on your side I mean this you it's going to be so hard to clean up the environmental damage that is done by the genetically modified food from these people playing God and if you don't think that the ruling elite who, who want us gone this is what they think type in will become gods it's a 38 second clip or physicists says we'll become gods and this elite says what he's going to do we're going to become gods if you get in our way we'll kill you and they're going to kill us anyway they're going to try and this was a huge story. the preparation for martial law in america they spent over 10 billion dollars this summer and into september is when it ended moving around finding the traitors the vichy government finding people who we bought off and, and they listed the main trouble states. What are they? They're uh, Texas, of course, and uh, Utah, because this was in the Southwest. Utah also, because the Mormons uh, are into uh, being prepared for collapses, which is not what they want. They want you to be subservient, take the chip. And we'll, we'll be talking about that later. Doing everything to close down uh, the Internet. Uh, Matt Drudge. A, uh, one of the men on the Supreme Court told him that we're coming after you this year. We should have the votes. We're coming after you this year. And they're, so they're going to try to continue to close down the Internet. The Internet won't go away. It'll just become like TV. It'll just be more and more controlled. I'll be gone. I won't be able to say this stuff. Use it while we can. And uh, the Agenda 21, we've done a lot of stories about that. Now they've come up with a new uh, thing. It's called 2030 for Sustainable Development, which means to sustain the few's lavish lifestyles and to put the, the rest of us on reservations. The reservations that they started for the Native Americans are going to be for all the people of the world. Uh, and then they're going to do dramatic uh, population reduction that's their plans openly written about Fukushima we've done stories about that um, it, it, this is just so sad what's going on or uh, not just over there over here and uh, an interesting thing there's there's no whales uh, right now around Hawaii uh, we'll just have to see how that all plays out we've shown you all the death that's happening off the west coast uh, and I've got a link to a great Fukushima site where there's a dust and there's readings all over the country. I mean, we're in trouble. We're in real trouble. But hey, don't worry about it. They're on it. And of course, they just, uh, just drink the fluoride. This is an actual bag of what they put in our drinking water I mean I live in la la land and this is exactly what a top globalist said through diet injections and injunctions will combine from a very early age to produce the sort of character uh, and beliefs that the authorities consider desirable and that any serious criticism of the powers that will be will become psychologically impossible you can look it up in his book written, what, 60 years ago? Over 60 years ago. If you want to hear another one of these guys, uh, the author of um, Brave New World, Aldous Huxley, whose brother Julian Huxley was a big shot in the UN, he gives a speech to Berkeley where, where he'll say the same things. I mean, just look it up. You can do it yourself. And notice how they're just pushing these injections. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. We've done so many stories about mandatory injections. Um, even here in Washington. It's a huge war. And the, the money changers sit behind and are making this come. We've did, done stories about TPP. Another one of these big global agreements negotiated in secret 
by the people who are running the world the big biggest corporations a few government leaders and of course they care about us they have our interest in heart sure they do how the nafta work out from billy clinton i mean i love it when i hear these people talk about bill clinton and well we can overlook his womanizing crap and because you know he gave us his great economy he didn't give us anything he took the money changers allowed the economy to be good in the end of the 90s so that Billy could completely sell us out. And what did he do? Take a look. I've got a permanent link to a great PBS special on derivatives. You can look it up. Brooksy Bourne was fighting these clowns in the Clinton administration who completely sold us out. And I, I think the, the latest deal was our banks are almost 250. And that's just a few main banks. Uh, are on the hook and they consider us on the hook for 250 trillion dollars you better learn to stand up like Iceland did did stories about them this year how they threw the people in jail how many people did we throw in jail well I guess we threw Bernie in jail because he stole from the wrong people and it's like one of Clinton's mentors said the people will wake up when the velvet gloves come off the iron fist. And they're taking them off. That's what Jade Helm was about. They're ready. They're getting ready because they know what they're going to do. I've laid this out for years. Told you before the last collapse about this. But anyway, hey, what do I know? You know, just, just believe the feel-good people. I mean, this is just the, the debt that they're talking about, um, which is baloney. I mean, that, that's just a number. It's, it's not the real number. Uh, you, you better find out what's going on. Uh, a great documentary is All Wars Are Bankers Wars, 45 minutes. I featured that sometimes. Uh, it's, it, it's great stuff about what is going on, uh, what they are doing. We did tons of stories about the different chip and how they're trying to integrate everything into us and get the um, get us all like they call it the Internet of Things. Get everything combined. You know they they want to have complete control and there's prophecies about that written 500 years ago. How that at the turn of the century everything would be controlled. They want to control every facet of your life. That's all they talk because they know better because they care about you. Because they want you to clean up after them. They're the new Nero's. If that woman who was doing the, who was grinding with the big mama, if she gets in, and she may not, because we've told you before, and we did articles about that, uh, renewing, and this is just one, they always have multiple laws. It's just a sort of, you know, but this law is one that uh, we did stories about it under Bush, and it's PD 51, that any problem anywhere in the world, Obama can uh, s declare martial law. And they're all ready for it. I mean, they let the contracts years ago. We did stories on that years and years ago. So they've been let, they've been uh, done, to see, you, and you had to be able to set up camps. It's a permanent link on the front of my, uh, on my website. You had to be able to have the capacity to set up a camp for two to 3,000 people in 72 hours. Now imagine how much money that costs to do. And they've been livening up some of their other centers that they've been building over the decades. Started back under Reagan, Rex 84. Just look it up. We've got one in Seattle. It's at Sandpoint. Remember during the WTO uh, stuff? They opened that up. So, Oh, and let's take a look. The year started out with a great talk about... Here's a beautiful woman from Sweden, and Sweden is now 
in the in the last stages of going cashless this is a woman taking a chip in sweden and how modern it is here it is at the newly opened epicenter office complex in central stockholm office workers can now open doors and operate the photocopier with a chip implanted in their hands the radio frequency identification rfid chip is made from pyrex glass and contains an antenna and microchip with no need for batteries now, instead of identification cards and passcodes, all a worker has to do is wave their hand in front of a sensor. It currently enables people to open doors, operate a photocopier and swap contact details via a smartphone. Uh, it felt pretty scary, but at the same time it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. The high-tech epicenter office block was inaugurated last month and aims to bring innovative companies, large and small, together under one roof. Co-founder and CEO Patrick Mesterton said his office complex was the ideal location to test such a technology. The chip is the size of a larger rice grain. It's about 12 millimeters in size. That's put in with a syringe. And it sends an RFID code, so it's an identification tool that can communicate with objects around you. So some of the future areas of use, I think, like anything where you today would use a PIN code or, 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 a, or a key or a card. So payments is, I think, one area. Uh, I think also for healthcare reasons, that you can sort of uh, uh, communicate with your doctor and, and you can get data on what you eat and, and, and sort of what your uh, physical status is. And of course, they, they keep talking about the world changed all the time, about 9-11. Of course, now you'd think, since if you want to believe the, the fairy tale that is the official story of 9-11, that it was done by a bunch of Muslims. So at the very least, you'd think we'd want to close our border and monitor very strictly these guys, especially coming from some of these countries. Oh, no, no, that would be racist. So what if they just shot up Paris? So what if, and quite frankly, a lot of these, well, <laughs> you need to look deeper into a lot of these stories, including the one in California that just happened. Um, but if you want to know more about 9-11, architects and engineers, uh, over 2,500 now, I think, have put their livelihood on the line. They've stood up for it and said, hey, what you're saying couldn't have happened. It's not the truth. Look it up. False, the fake left-right paradigm. That there's really a choice. The only, there's some minor differences. But they're very small. And a lot of it's just more talk than actual differences by the leaders of both parties. False flag operations. I said they would go on last year. They did. I'm saying they're going to go on in 2016. In this coming year, we'll see more false flag operations. Absolutely guaranteed. Guaranteed. That's one of the safest predictions anyone could make. Because, unfortunately, that's how the world works. Since those uh, religious zealots attacked our capital, and Nero laughed and he said, go get those Christians. Better take a look outside the frying pan, my friend. It is getting hot. Oh, the bail-ins. The bail-ins are coming. That's right. The, um, the EU, I've done stories on this, by uh, the end of July last year, had to have laws on the books that took effect two days ago on January 1st that it's now legal to, for the banks, if they get into trouble, <laughs> if, when, because by all the metrics, they're worse now than they were seven years ago. And that they can go into your account and just take money out of it, just like they did in Cyprus. We've done stories on that, and it's supposedly been done over here. Um... So much stuff. The currency wars. Um, you know, we need to wake up all the lies that go on. The take-home message from 9-11 is it was the anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi's very first protest. And 
like i told you in the beginning it's our duty but you got to be very uh, aware of what's going on educate yourself knowledge is power and uh, people I, I someone got excited because i said people die for lack of knowledge uh from, it's a quote from the Bible. He came back, well, people are destroyed. Okay, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed. I mean, give me a break. Destroyed sounds like death to me, but whatever. We must be the change that we wish to see in the world. Get ready. And it has to be a revolution of love. They will say it's hate, and they already do. But it has to be a revolution of love. I had somebody go, oh, you spelled love backwards. No, it's, it's revolution. That's how that's spelled. We're just pointing out the word love in revolution. You need to turn it around. Because they're making it backwards. They're saying love is hate. I'm saying we have to do it with love and forgiveness. Seek the truth and bear witness to it. Jesus sees what's going on. He gives us the graces we need to counteract this. But this is the lukewarm church, the lukewarm world, and I am not going to be a part of it. I'm going to do my little part to try and make things better because it's going to be bad. Catholics stand with Planned Parenthood. And one of the Catholics that stood with Planned Parenthood was the Speaker of the House. See, God throws this in our face. Here they are. Not only is it abortion and all this, they're harvesting human parts. And we've done so many wild stories about from Pepsi. Just check out fetal parts in Pepsi. Fetal parts in vaccines. I mean, it's... It's so bizarre. But this is almost their time. So what would you expect from the devil's time? Don't be a part of this. This is a legal abortion of a little girl. What was her choice? You can wait a few months and give the child up for adoption. There's a waiting list for babies. Through prayer and fasting, we can change the world. Without prayer and fasting, you're... you're really not much good to us i'm sorry or to yourself here's my website here's another website there's tons of websites listed on my website that you can uh, go to for more information one thing you can do is tell them about my show thursday 8 to 9 friday 1 to 2 p.m and uh, may god bless and keep your family i hope you have a good week and remember what my sioux brothers say matakaway always seen we are all related goodbye